Hello, and welcome to Remote EMDR's video guide. In this video, we'll demonstrate using the screen share and record session options available in Remote EMDR's internal video chat. Before we begin, a note for Mac users, to use the features described in this video, you will have to allow screen sharing on your computer. To do that, click the Apple menu screen, select System Preferences, and then Sharing. Now, mark the screen sharing box, and you're ready to start. As you can see, we are already in an active session on Remote EMDR's internal video chat. To share your screen, click the Share Screen button. If you are using Google Chrome, this pop-up message will appear, asking you to choose whether to share your entire screen, a specific active window, or a certain Chrome tab. Once you make your selection, the Share button on the bottom right side of the Share Screen window will become available. You can also choose to share your audio with your client by checking the Share Audio box. After clicking Share, the screen sharing will begin, based on your selected settings. If you are using Firefox, the pop-up message you will see after clicking the Share Screen button will look slightly different. Firefox lets you choose whether to share your entire screen or only a specific window. You can also choose to mute your website notifications if you'd like to. If you're using Safari, you won't get any pop-up messages. The screen sharing will start automatically in the entire screen mode. To stop sharing your screen, click the Stop Sharing Screen button. By default, the screen sharing feature is available for both you and your client. If you wish to block this option on the client side, click the Video Chat Settings button and turn off the Allow Client to Share Screen switch. To start recording a session, click the Record Session button. Before the recording can start, your client has to accept the recording request on their side. Then, you will be asked to choose which screen you want to record. When you click the Select Screen to Record button, you will see the same pop-up message as you would if you select the Share Screen option. Only this time, your choice will affect the screen that's being recorded. If you're using Chrome, you will see this pop-up message, and if you are using Firefox, you will see this one. Once again, if you are using Safari, you won't see any pop-up messages, and the entire screen option will be chosen automatically. Your selection will only affect the recording of the video. Your client's audio and yours will always be recorded. While the session is recorded, the word recording will appear on top of the video thumbnail on both your and your client's side. To stop recording, click the Stop Recording button or the End Session button. The recorded session will be saved to your computer automatically, wherever you usually save your downloaded files. The recording will be saved as a WebM file. If the video doesn't play on your current media player, try installing another compatible player on your computer. BLC is a good option for playing this file format. Please note that if, for any reason, you exit remote EMDR entirely or go offline during a recorded session, the recording will stop immediately and the recorded video will be deleted. Finally, we'd like to remind you that remote EMDR is fully compliant with HIPAA rules and regulations. This has been our video guide on using Remote EMDR's screen sharing and session recording features. Thank you for watching.